Hello, everyone. Hello and welcome. Welcome to the Masterpiece Lounge. Thank you all for joining me for yet another segment. It is always a pleasure to meet with you guys, be with you, come and share some nuggets that's going to inspire you, empower you to um, just live your best lives. And so I am Chris Natha, your hostess for this segment and all the segments to come. I'm also a certified life coach, author, and speaker. If it is your first time here, please say hello down in the chat. Welcome. We're happy to have you. And if you are returning, welcome back. As always, let us know where you're tuning in from around the world and share this with your network. As you've already seen in the title, we're going to be discussing today, we're going to be talking about work-life balance. So we're just going to spend a few minutes talking about work life, work and life balance. Now, I know, just as you know, <laughs> that that's not always easy to do. Um, it's not always possible. Sometimes balance just doesn't exist, right? It's just one of those words. <laughs> but we can always do our best to make sure that we are giving the things that are important to us um, attention. That is super important. And so with that being said, we're going to touch on that a little bit today so that you can think about that, let that marinate, and hopefully as you go into the summer months, even into the fall and winter, that you will keep that in mind to make sure that you're doing a better job of work and life balance. All right, so let's just jump into it. Let's talk about a few things that um, can help you on your journey of work-life balance because we all could do a little bit better. Um, I will be the first to say I can always do a little bit better in that area, but I am working on it. I am actively working on it. I'm taking steps each and every day to make sure that I am not only working hard, but I'm also taking care of myself in every aspect of my life. And I want for you all to do the very same thing. All right. Now, if you are a note taker, go ahead and pull out your, your device, your pad, your pen, whatever it is that you use to take notes. But jot down some nuggets that are important to you, share them and drop them in the chat as well. So people who are watching or re-watching um, the segment will be able to catch those nuggets as well. Um, the first thing I would love to encourage you all to do, and as I'm talking to you, I'm talking to myself, um, <laughs> is to plan ahead, is to plan ahead. Um, some of us are like really good at planning, right? Not to be super strict about it, but that you like to know what you're doing, when you're going to do it, what are the aspects and what does it all involve, right? And so if you can plan ahead plan ahead, plan your leisure a little bit. You can be, you know, give it some room to be a little spontaneous a little bit, but plan your leisure time, plan your social time, be intentional about that. Um, your fitness activities, your family time, be intentional and plan ahead. Um, it's not enough to say, I would love to spend more time with my family, right? It's not enough to say, I would love to spend more time with my friends. Um, I would love to be more social on the weekends. I would love to incorporate more self-care. I would love to definitely maximize my weekends. Whatever the case is, it's not enough to think it and say it. That is where it starts, so that's good. But you wanna make sure that you're being intentional, that you're planning, right? If you wanna be intentional, you wanna maximize your days off, then you actually have to make a plan for your days off. Otherwise they will come and go and you'll be frustrated because when you'll be blinking and then at the blink of an eye, Monday morning will be right back here, right? And so you wanna be intentional about that so you can have the balance that you desire. Um, family time, not just being with each other, which is great, but what are you doing when you're with each other? Are you all in separate rooms? Do you guys still have dinner at the table? Is that important to you at all? Do you put your devices away, right? Do you put all the electronics away and you're intentional about your time together, right? You want to make sure it's not just time spent, but it's quality time spent, right? So how can I plan ahead and be intentional? Um, it could be as simple as adding some really cool social activities to your calendar. What are some things going on this month? Um, it's warm outside. There's so many amazing things happening in everyone's city and community. And so 
get out there and go meet some new people or take some friends that you already have and go enjoy yourself and the weather, right? And so being intentional, it's really, really important that you are intentional. All right. So I just wanted to make sure that we were very clear about that because it's super important. Okay. So being intentional and planning ahead. The next thing um, I want you to do is to embrace the way that your brain works. Embrace the way that your brain works. You're probably thinking, what in the world does that mean? <laughs> embrace the way that your brain works. How do you think? How do you function? Um, are you super spontaneous or not having a plan and structure? Does that bring you anxiety, right? And that's a real thing. And so I want you to be very mindful of how your brain works. What do you need to be comfortable? What do you need to have a good time? What do you need to make sure that um, you something comes to pass? It's not just um, a thought, but it's actually a solid plan, right? So be mindful of that as well. How does my brain works? What do I need to be successful in making sure that I achieve work-life balance, okay? And so, yes, yeah, so being more self-aware is definitely important here. Um, also, number three, I want you to set some time aside for different tasks. Um, and I know that with life and our schedules and if you're parents, right, it's not always um, black and white. <laughs> we know that sometimes um, unexpected things take place and that changes your schedule. That's completely okay. That's understandable. That's called life happening. But you want to have some type of structure or routine, some type of um, idea. When does this take place? Right? When does the laundry typically get done? You won't do it the same day every week. Life happens. But is there an idea, a time that we aim for, right? So that you're not just left at the end of the week doing everything. But if you do a little bit each day, then the end of the week isn't so heavy, right? And so, um, all right, so I'm going to put myself out there a little bit. Um, I once dealt with being a procrastinator, right? And so I actually struggled with this a lot. I would definitely wait to do everything at the end, <laughs> right? When um, the deadline is near, when I'm super stressed out, when I'm overwhelmed and I'm trying to make everything work at the same time and meet every deadline at the same time. That is too stressful. It was not productive at all. And so hopefully you guys do not follow in my former footsteps and do that. Um, hopefully you guys are really intentional about putting time aside for different tasks so that your free time isn't all spent trying to catch up, but that you're able to really, really enjoy um, your leisure time. All right. So set some block time for different tasks that you have and delegate. If you can get some help, get some help. So you don't have to wear your cape. You don't have to be superwoman or superman. Get some help. <laughs> um, number four, this might be challenging for some of us because some of us are workaholics, but end work at a certain time. End work at a certain time, okay? When it's time for you to end work, I'm encouraging you to do just that, end work, meaning log off, close the laptop, put it aside, put it in the home office, put it away. If you don't have to, don't bring your laptop home from the office if you don't have to. If you do, then I understand. But if you're not on call, right, leave that, leave everything at work if you're not on call. Enjoy your time off. You have to clock out mentally, right? Um, for some of us who work remotely, this can be challenging. Um, Sometimes you work remotely, you tend to do extra work because you're already home. You're comfortable. It's no big deal. It's not like you're going to be in traffic. And so you may think, let me just work a little bit more and get a little bit more done and just stretch myself just a little bit further. And that's completely OK. However, there has to be boundaries. So you have to set boundaries with yourself. Um, definitely about work because work is important, but there's a time for it to shut down. Shut it down, shut it down, shut it down. <laughs> All right. Oh, we have a comment here. Hey, Keisha. So Keisha says, I used to do that. I'm trying to do a little bit at a time. Procrastination became my name. Listen, Keisha, no shame in your game. I dealt with it too, but we are overcomers. We are getting better and better each day. So do not beat yourself up. 
So I feel you. <laughs> so thank you so much for sharing that, Keisha. But yes, I can definitely understand that. Um, yes, but we are growing, honey. We are growing. So yes, <laughs> definitely end work at a certain time. It's so, so, so important. It's so important. Um, yeah, when you work remotely, you can really just keep working. Um, but it's important to set that boundary with yourself and to pick it back up later. And if you work in the office, if you don't have to bring any of your devices home, um, I wouldn't do that. Um, I have a friend, she, um, she works in administration. And one of the things she did to kind of um, make sure that she had boundaries with work is that she was going to download her work email on her personal devices at home so that she could check on the weekend. And she decided, decided against it. Right. Because she said, why would I be checking work emails on the weekend just so I can stress myself? Right. And so <laughs> it's definitely something that um, I think was a great choice for her is to make sure that she set that boundary um, so that she didn't have to worry about work on the weekend. She can just really enjoy her time off. Real karma. Hello. You want to work from home? Listen, working from home, um, depending um, you know, your personality, you may really enjoy it. Um, some people like to be in the office and they like to be around other people. And some people are just over the office politics and they want to work from home. And so if you want to work from home, I wish you all the best. Um, and I know there's some really awesome, amazing opportunities, remote opportunities that are that are available now. So definitely look out for them um, because there's a lot more opportunities that are remote. So I hope that you do find, um, you know, that that awesome position that you are hoping for. Um Number five is to enlist technology, enlist technology to help you unplug. Now, usually um, technology can be looked at something that may keep you plugged in <laughs> to everyone, but you can also use it to help you unplug as well. Um, for example, if let's say you're going on vacation, you can schedule your off, out of office email message, or you can schedule your emails to go out at a certain time. Um, so you can still be productive. You can pre-schedule your email marketing. If you have a business, there's so many things that you can automate, um, even though you are away and enjoying your leisure time. So it's so important to use those tools that are um, available to us so that we can still be productive, but be away all at the same time. Um, you can also go out to lunch, enjoy yourself with people that you care about. Just go out, maybe not lunch, but something. Um, I personally, I'm being very intentional this summer. It's a challenge that I am doing for myself, um, for me to be intentional for the next 90 days, every single weekend. <laughs> so every single weekend, I may not be doing something grand, but I'm doing something, right? And so that is my challenge to myself each and every weekend that I will work hard during the week and I will make sure, even though it's really, really warm out, that I will go ahead and have brunch with girlfriends, um, attend a local event, um, do something different in the city. There's so many amazing events and things going on. And so be sure to look out for those no matter where you live. Um, yeah, just look up what's going on in your city. There's so many amazing things happening in the community, so many festivals and so many things going on. And so be open to trying new things and meeting new people. So that is my challenge to myself this summer. You can also take that challenge and try it yourself. All right, because I enjoy to have a good time because I work hard and so do you. All right, <laughs> because we need balance. All right, and the last tip, the last tip and the last step for you all is to take time off. I know that um, some of us, we, we have certain goals and responsibilities and maybe that's not possible, but there's many ways to work around it. So I wanna encourage you to take time off. And time off can look differently for all of us. Time off can look like, taking off a couple days. Time off can look like taking off a week, right? Um, if you have those PTO hours, you want to cash some in, go ahead and cash in some of those PTO hours, okay? Um, but yeah, definitely take a trip if you can. If you can't, there's something called a staycation and you can rent out an amazing suite in an awesome hotel in your city and just enjoy yourself. And or 
listen, I could take it a step further. If you don't want to just spend a weekend at a really fancy hotel, you can get a day pass for a lot less and just enjoy all the amenities in that amazing, amazing five-star hotel. So there's so many amazing things that you can do. Um, get pampered, take yourself to the spa, you know, um, take a road trip, you know, um, there's so many things to do. I personally, I live in the big state of Texas. And so all major cities are probably about three hours, about three hours away from each other. So there's always opportunities for road trips. There's so many things that you can do. Um, get in the water if you can, cause it's really warm out. So have a good time. That's my biggest thing I want you all to take away from today's segment. Have a good time. You know, add some fun to your life. We can't just be so serious and working so hard all the time. Do our best to add some balance. Okay. So spend some time with the people you love. Be intentional about it. Make sure that you're taking great care of yourself, right? Because you are also a priority in that you are making sure that you are working hard but that you are also enjoying yourself. So let's we're all work on our work-life balance, everyone, because at the end of the day, that's what's most important is making sure that we're enjoying all aspects of our life, okay? So we were created to do a lot more than just work hard, okay? <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed today's segment. Share this with your network and um, let me know what you're doing this summer. I'd love to know because I am a little nosy, but also I want to celebrate you when you're doing amazing things to add balance to your life. <laughs> so if we are not connected yet, let's go ahead and connect on social media platforms such as Instagram and Facebook. I'd love to connect with you if we're not connected already. And um, I'm Chris Natha DeRosier everywhere. And I'm at Chris Nath on uh, Instagram. Also, head on over to my online home www.iaaminstitute.com. And there you can sign up for our free mailing list. Um, we also have a free ebook just for you. So go ahead and grab that and stay updated with all the incredible things we have coming up. Um, so yeah, so, so let's stay connected for sure. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Awesome, awesome. Preparing for a launch date and enjoying. Awesome. Enjoy your girls this summer. I love it. <laughs> but yes, definitely. It's important for us to make sure that we are um, doing our best to add balance. We've all had a really, really, really long and rough <laughs> two and a half years. Right. And so it's important that we are making time for the people we love. Um, it's really important that human connection matters. All right, guys. So I will see you again, same time, same place next week. Have an incredible rest of your week. Have an incredible day. Um, I'm Chris Natha DeRosier, certified life coach, author, and speaker signing off until next time. And until then, be well. Take care, guys, and God bless.